What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because we're showing off Pendulum Magician. Now Monkey Boy just came back to one on the most recent ban list and it makes this deck super super consistent as if it already wasn't super consistent but Monkey Board is one card scales, the card is nuts. And we got the new addition of Beyond the Pendulum, which makes this deck super, super powerful. But if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. If you guys want to check out any of the other post balance deck profiles I did, they're all already on the channels. I did like a ton. But starting next week, we're going to go back to our regular scheduled program where we do Monday deck profiles, Tuesday combo videos, and you know, yada, yada, yada the rest of the week. So make sure you guys stay subscribed for that. But... I don't want to keep you guys for much longer, so with that, let's get into the video. Okay, so getting into this deck profile, I'm super excited. Of course, we're starting off with the one, the only, I mean, I guess literally the one and the only Performer Pal Monkey Board. This card is insanely powerful, and I'm just going to read this card's effect out to you guys for anyone who's a newer player, especially a newer Pendulum player, why this card is so insane. So the Pendulum effect and the main effect that you're going to be focusing on is during your main phase, if this card was activated this turn, you can add a level 4 or lower Performer Pal monster from your deck to your hand. So this automatically has always been a one card scale because it's a scale one in itself and you can search any Performer Pal card from your deck to your hand. And the best one to search, of course, is your Performer Pal Skulls Crobat Joker. Now back in the day when the decks really wasn't penned Magician, it was more so like penned Performer Pal, this was a little bit more easy because you would play the Guitar Turtle and all these other Performer Pal cards. But now with Pendulum Magician, this deck is super, super consistent and it just has so much gas that even if you're going first or going second, you can always play through so many things, whether it be hand traps, whether it be negates, whether it be monster board, with the back row boards this deck can play through so much so of course we are playing triple skull group by joker your best normal summon of the deck then you're playing three wisdom eye now you guys might be wondering okay well wisdom eye and perform pal monkey board doesn't kind of synergize well because wisdom eye only gives you a magician and if you don't have a perform pal scale with the monkey board then the monkey board becomes level four scale and that's not really great yes but there's also ways to play around it because wisdom eye magician can now give you access to another magician that's also a perform pal name which is perform pal celestial magician this is is a scale eight so this card is insanely powerful because as well as monkey board pretty much what ends up happening is now you have your scale one and your scale eight you set it up and it's a performer pal and your monkey board can do all of this as just a one card combo so of course that's really powerful then you're just maxing out and playing the best magicians you're playing three of the oaf dragon three of the chronograph now these different levels also matter and you guys will see why later but it's nice to have these different levels not just level four so chronograph of course is really powerful double iris is now back at three as of like a few balances ago so you want to be playing this you're playing two Pensorg. Pensorg synergizes really well with the monkey board, so you do want to be playing two Pensorg. Two Purple Poison. Purple Poison is a great card as well. As you guys can see, this deck is just, like I said earlier, it's all gas. It's just all cards that do things for you, right? So that's why this is really powerful, and really, po Purple Poison is the only defensive card, I guess you can say, that we play, because this card kind of pops cards your opponent controls, and it helps you really play going second very well. So that's why we're playing two of this. Then, as one of the extenders and one of the better extenders in the deck, we are playing Curtain Razor. It, by itself, is pretty much just a monster for you on the board. It's really powerful. So you want to be playing three of this for sure three harmonizing magician then you're playing one astrograph magician of course this card is really powerful for you it's also kind of like an extender it lets you do a lot of things so you want to be playing the astrograph one black fang as well as one time gazer now you're only playing one of these because of course you're playing the chronograph for the time grazer and you don't want to max out on these because them on their own don't really do anything for you so these are the only quote-unquote bricks in your deck but at the end of the day the bricks are just scales for you and they can be scales for you so it's really important in that sense as well then you're playing two tuning magician tuning magician is very important because it helps you with your Hack of Fibrax plays, but it also helps with your Selene plays because it's a spellcaster for you that gets itself in the graveyard that you can special summon back with Selene. That's really important as well. So that's why you want to be playing the Tuning Magician at two. And then one Artifact Scythe. The way you get this combo off, you still can Scythe lock your opponent because you have Halk and you end on boards of Halk plus Apollo that pretty much you can go into TG on your opponent's turn, pop your Scythe, TG and Scythe go into Baron. So it's, it's just really powerful. So you want to be playing this combo in the deck. It gets it off super, super easily. Now, even if you don't end on a Halk of Fibrax, you can end on a Tornado Dragon and do it that way as well. So there's two different ways, multiple different ways really to get this done. So it's really powerful to be playing the Scythe. Then for the spell cards, these are all pretty much just power spells. Three Duelist Alliance, three pendulum call these cards get you through your entire deck pretty much and that's why this deck is so powerful is because you have so many starter cards if you think about it like you have dualist alliance you have pendulum call these are all cards that just get cards to your hand get you through your deck you have skull crowbat that gets you through your deck you have wisdom eye that gets you through your deck you have pen sword that gets you through your deck you have monkey board that gets you through your deck like it's so powerful and then you have cards like of course like purple poison which can be defensive or offensive cards as well you have chronograph which special summons itself out like there's just so many extenders and so many starters and so many just cards that get you 
you through your deck that it's very very powerful so you want to be playing these six of course and then you're playing one star pendulum graph as well as one time pendulum graph these kind of can help you control the game state and kind of help you push for a more grindy game even though you don't really necessarily want to grind it just gives you that option so this is a deck essentially it's 41 cards i don't think i'd want to play more than 41 i think 41 is the perfect number just because this deck is so consistent and i don't think playing more than 41 really benefits you anywhere unless you're playing something like prosperity but in this case i think the deck has enough gas where you don't need to be doing that anyways and then moving on to the extra deck here we are playing one baron one savage and one tg wonder magician this is a combo that kind of comes up when you do your hulk fibrax play with your scythe because what ends up happening is you make your tg pop the scythe like i said earlier and then you make your baron but savage comes up a lot too keep in mind you're playing so many level four monsters and you're harmonizing magicians at level four tuner so this by itself essentially when it's pendulum summoned is going to get you to savage so it's obviously very powerful to play the savage it definitely comes up your best 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 boards are hulk with apollo plus a savage and then a scythe set of course so those are your like best best boards but even the most minimal boards are really hard to break so then you're playing one time star magician time star magician is really good one tornado dragon one zeus this only comes up because sometimes when you're going second or you're forced to go second you can make the time star you can make the tornado dragon and then you can just kind of break your opponent's board attack or something like that and then you can make your zeus it comes up so zeus was really just the 15th card i put in here it doesn't have to be a zeus it could be any other utility monster so yeah it doesn't have to be a zeus but i think zeus is really really powerful baguska as well baguska is so strong in today's format and no one is giving it enough credit because this card shuts out all of the meta decks and a lot of them have a hard time playing around this and playing through this so unless they have a droplet or an imperm essentially baguska is just insanely powerful right and then you're for your link monsters you're playing one access code one apollo one Celine. Celine kind of gives you the access code play so Celine's really important you're playing one dark dark is really good dpe is not as relevant as it once was but dark is just really good in general because you can just target any dark monster in your opponent's graveyard special summon it helps you link climb it helps you push for damage so dark is really good in that sense one dagda for your combo one hulk of course for your combo and the new beyond the pendulum this card is insanely powerful so if you guys don't know remember how i mentioned earlier that different levels matter so the different levels matter because this card itself can do things for you when you have different levels on your side of the field so pretty much this effect reads if this card is link summoned in the extra monster zone you can pay 1200 life points add a pendulum monster from your deck to your hand but for the rest of this turn unless you pendulum summon after this effect resolves you cannot activate monster effects and the effects of any cards in your pendulum zones are negated so essentially you want to be making this you want to pen summon after you make this essentially but that's not the best part the other part of this if two monsters with different original levels are pendulum summoned at the same time to the zones this card points to you can target two cards in the field destroy them both why this is really good is it helps you push for a lot of pressure going second because you have your level fours but you also have your level sixes with your chronograph a level six with oaf dragon you have a level seven with astrograph so if you just summon a level seven and a level six or a level six and a level four to the zones that it points to it helps you pop cards your component controls but you can also pop your own cards and that can come up sometimes as well so depending on what you need to do this card is just insanely powerful so you do definitely want to be playing one of this and then one artemis artemis is really good just as a spell caster that sometimes you can need to get into your graveyard and it just helps you link climb and do other things so yeah this is the perfect extra deck in my opinion i wouldn't really change anything i guess you could argue the zeus the zeus could be any other utility card but zeus itself is very very powerful this main deck as you guys can see is just pure gas it's just pure i'm going to keep going through whatever you put up if i'm going second you put up three negates you put up a banish you put up a mirror jade you put up whatever a chi chow plus a blackout i'm gonna play through it if i'm going first and you have like two to three hand traps i'm just going to play through it and that's why this deck is so powerful and i think monkey board coming back making everything just a one card combo if you draw into your monkey board and you start your hand with a monkey board you activate your monkey board your opponent has to have an answer because at that point monkey board is a one card just like full combo essentially for you and then from there even if they do have an answer you still have four cards to play with and as you guys can see all these cards are consistency cards or extenders or just cards that can help you push through hand traps push through negates push through disruptions so that's it for the deck really triff if you're watching this i hope uh, i did the deck justice because i think this deck is very very fun and it's very very powerful i think it's being slept on in today's format yes there's anti-spell yes there's d barrier very prominent cards in today's format but your opponent has to hard draw those and you know what even if they do in game two you got game three and this deck is just really really powerful again it's just so much gas doesn't really matter what your opponent has the boards this deck makes are just insanely powerful the boards this deck breaks are really really good because you can put up three four disruptions and still break those kind of boards so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile and i hope you guys try this out for yourselves so that is it for today's deck profile i hope you guys did enjoy pendulum magician as you guys can see is just pure gas this deck goes so hard everything is an extender everything is a starter 
everything gets everything for you this deck is so powerful i've been having so much fun playing it i hope you guys really did enjoy and if you guys want to check out any of the other post balance content like i said earlier make sure to check it out it's already up on the channel we're back to our regularly scheduled program starting on monday so i hope you guys do enjoy that but i hope you guys did enjoy this week of just post balance content thank you guys all for watching appreciate every single one of you and with that spanko signing out peace